What's going on guys, GSNOWRAID here, so in today's video we're discussing about the jailbreak status as for the week 4 of November. Now in this video we're going to discuss a little bit about the Molmai repo in the current situation and we're going to also take a look at what is the direction of the jailbreak from this point on. So I'm going to start with the fact that the Molmai repo has just been archived a couple days ago. Now, if you're not aware, ModMyI repo was one of the uh, default repos and it's been uh, currently bought by Mobile Nations. I briefly worked for a couple months with ModMyI, I volunteered in there, and I know that the, uh, the new staff, including Dennis uh, Bednar, the new... Um, the new editor in charge it pretty much did a very good work, but uh, apparently, since it's no longer feasible, Mode My Eye repo has been archived and it's no longer available to submit new stuff to it. Now, now, don't get me wrong. If you had things from Mode My Eye installed on your device, on your jailbroken device, or you want to install themes or tweaks that are on Mode My Eye, you can still find them in there. But um, the difference is that you can no longer submit stuff to Mode My Eye if you're a developer. So uh, the same thing happened with the uh, Mac City and with the Zod TTD. Now, these three repositories have been around for quite a lot of time. Mode My Eye has been around for 10 years. It's as old as the jailbreak itself. It's been around since the very first jailbreak. And now, apparently, only Big Boss remains as the default repo that is still active and still maintained. Now, um, the Big Boss repo is maintained by Optimo, who has posted this long message here on uh, Reddit jailbreak two days ago, in which he is discussing about the current state of the jailbreaking and the direction of the jailbreak from this point on, but I'm going to try to make it short. Now, uh, he's going to start accepting at some point themes, or at least that is the plan, because Mode My Eye has been used a lot for theming. Uh, Big Boss, on the other hand, has been used a lot for tweaks. On Big Boss, you couldn't submit themes, uh, and that was one of the uh, selling points for Mode My Eye. Now, the themes that are still available in Mode My Eye can still be purchased, can be downloaded, and your purchases from Mode My Eye, Zod, TTD, or Mac City can still be um, downloaded, so you didn't lose anything. It's just been archived by Sorik, the developer of Cydia, whose birthday is today, so happy birthday, Sorik. And, um, he apparently did a very good job, so if you are using an older device and you have a lot of stuff, because ModMyEye has been filled with a lot of uh, tweaks and themes for older devices and older iOS versions and so on, you can still access them, you just can't submit stuff anymore. Now, a lot of people in the jailbreak community are seeing this as pretty much the end of the jailbreaking and so on. It's not the end of jailbreaking, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to be um, overly optimistic but it's just not the end. Just because Mode My Eye has closed doesn't mean anything. See, Mode My Eye hasn't been used for years. It's been left to rot by the previous management it had until it's been taken by Dennis Bednars, who simply didn't want to quit on it. But he did his best and it's unfortunately not feasible anymore and the cost to keep Mode My Eye repo in Cydia up is simply too much and uh, the revenue coming from the repo is too low. So it's just not feasible for mobile nations. Now as you can see the Mode My website has been revamped and it's now containing news and so on. So the uh, website itself is not completely dead. They just uh, they just repurposed themselves into more like newsy, tacky type thing website, which you see from Redon Pi and iMore and so on. So if you are a fan of ModMy, the website is still available. They're still producing very, very good uh, content, but the repo is archived and it's no longer usable. So what it remains? Well, we still have the Big Boss repo, which is, as I said, held and maintained by um, Optimo. And... Uh, yeah, Optimal doesn't have any plans to close it anytime soon, so it will still be available in case a jailbreak appears out of the blue and out of the sudden we need to start building tweaks for a newer version. We will still be able to submit them to Big Boss with no problem. But um, according to Optimo, Big Boss will be held online as much as it is possible and as much as it, is, it remains feasible for him to keep it up. So, yeah. Again, at some point people would say, okay, this is pretty much the end of the jailbreaking because this never happened before, you know, a default repo that's been with us since the beginning of the jailbreak uh, itself. 
10 years ago to close. Yes, 2017 didn't bring too much good news for the jailbreak, at least not in the uh, last part of it, but let's still be optimistic because something might change. It's not the time to go on Android and say, okay, screw Apple, I'm going to Android and stuff like that. A jailbreak will come at some point and uh, I would definitely recommend you to read what um, Optimo has posted in here. Optimo has been around for at least as long as Soric and uh, he maintained the biggest repository, the default Big Boss repo on Cydia. So his words in here are really, really wise and I definitely uh, recommend you to read this post to understand what is the current situation of the jailbreaking community and uh, what it should be doing. Now, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about on the repo type thing drama. Yes, the ModeMyEye and MacCity repo and Zod TTD are now archived and that's unfortunate. It's bad to see them go. Uh, as I said, I've been working for ModeMyEye for a couple months and it's been a very, very nice experience to be able to work for one of the oldest, if not the oldest, uh, repo in Cydia. But yeah, it is simply not feasible anymore. Now, in other words, Taiji also left us. Um, if you're navigating now to the taiji.com, which used to be the official website for Taiji Jailbreak for iOS 8.4, I think, or anyways, 8.x, uh, it used to be the Taiji website. You could download the uh, Taiji tool that I still have in here. Uh, yes, this one in here, Taiji, which unfortunately is not optimized to work on uh, macOS High Sierra. So if you're still using this tool regularly, do not update to High Sierra. On Windows, it still works with no problem. But yeah, the website is no longer working. It says the site can be reached. So apparently the Taiji is not going to come back, at least not soon. So uh, yeah, if you've been using this, I think you can still find the uh, utility on da for download on many websites. Just pay attention not to download some malware. But now there is a problem because there will be an influx of uh, Taiji fake websites. There are already a lot of Taiji fake websites claiming to be Taiji and so on. For example, Taiji9.com that is very, very up on Google. And now that the official Taiji.com website no longer exists, it's no longer reachable, a lot of people will be falling for that fake jailbreak. And yeah, it's unfortunate, but that's how it is. So yeah, not very good news, guys. That's pretty much how it's going on for the moment. There is no new jailbreak available. And um, of course, I will keep you updated when a new jailbreak is out. But uh, I just wanted to, to let you know about the uh, ModeMyI situation and Zod TDD and Mac City and about the Taiji situation. And uh, I invite you to read Optimo's post in there. It's definitely very wise. I really liked it and I definitely recommend it to you. This video has been brought to you by Dr. Phone, a Wondershare product. It helps you keep your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch in shape by providing you recovery for your lost or erased data, data transfer between iOS, Android and computers. You can actually backup and restore your device, unlock it, repair it should it get broken, or you can even erase the data inside it. Now, they're currently holding a Thanksgiving promotion in which you can even win a Huawei P10. For the rules of this promotion, check out in the description down below. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope it clarifies a couple things up about the uh, repositories and so on. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. We'll keep you updated with anything jailbreak related. I'm Geosnow, signing out.